Summer is almost over. Fall is nearly here, and you know what that means. Horror movies! I'm Jessica Chola, and this is Nerdist News. Show, we're taking a look at the top five horror movies we're most anticipating this fall. Starting off our list at number five, we've got a tie between the ABCs of Death 2 and VHS Viral. The horror anthology has experienced an awesome comeback over the last few years, and since VHS 2 was almost uniformly great and the ABCs of Death's 26 shorts are statistically guaranteed to contain at least a few bright spots, we're in pretty good hands this year. Pick number four, Horns, an adaptation of the hit novel by Locke and Keys Joe Hill. Horns stars Harry Potter as a regular guy who wakes up one day to find his girlfriend's been murdered. He's the prime suspect, and a pair of horns are growing out of his head. Not a bad setup. From what the trailers have shown, the movie won't just be packed with blood, gore, and grim humor. It'll also let its protagonist go full evil. Pretty dark, just the way I like it. Number three on our list has the best title of, well, probably any movie ever. It's called Wolf Cop, and it's about exactly what you think. I honestly don't even know what else to say about this one. Have you bought your ticket yet? Wolf Cop. Our second most anticipated flick this year hails from Australia, and it's called The Babadook. This spooky kid-slash-mom-going-insane-slash-scary demon flick was a hit at Sundance and currently sits at 100% fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. Every bit of footage so far has looked supremely creepy in a heartwarmingly old-school way. Plus, it's just fun to say, Babadook. And our number one most anticipated horror movie of the fall is Chain Rattle, Please! Housebound. This haunted house horror comedy from New Zealand reminds us of classic Peter Jackson in all the best ways. The production design looks amply spooky, the mystery is intriguing, and the comedy seems silly and smart. Could this be our next splatterstick classic? I certainly hope so. Now that's my top five, but what's yours? Anticipating Annabelle, waiting for Ouija, pining for the pyramid? Let me know in the comments below. Now with legendary pictures as above, so below coming out tomorrow, I actually got to go to Paris, visit the catacombs myself, and meet the writing, directing, producing team, the Dowdle Brothers, and they're with me right now. Hey guys. Hey, hey Jess. Jess. So the catacombs were pretty claustrophobic. How tough was it to shoot down there? It was really tough. You know, like walkie talkies didn't work down there. We all took chunks out of our heads mm -hmm. in the ceiling. Yeah, our poor crew cold. had to bring a functional piano down there, and we had to bring a car that we could set on fire, so it was, it was not easy for them. Well, yeah. you know, I am actually really glad to see you guys, because I had an absolutely excellent time in the catacombs. Didn't you get lost down there? Uh, yeah, over like a second. Yeah, we weren't sure you made it out. It was like kind of ominous and open-ended. I mean, yeah, a little, a little bit. I mean, honestly, how do you know you made it out at all? And maybe you're still in the catacombs. Uh, Hallucinating. Drinking your own urine. I don't, I don't think so, so, oh god. Guys? H hello? That's Thursday. Go watch the Dowdle Brothers tell me their top five horror flicks, but not before you click on my face to subscribe to the Nerdist channel. Visit Nerdist.com for more Nerdist news. Guys? Guys? I, I'm not really in the catacombs, am I? <laughs>